In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the grail I found in Plymouth. So stay tuned. Hi folks and welcome back to Funko UK Guy. If you haven't been to my channel before, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button and comment below. So first of all, before I carry on with this video, I like to give three shout outs. The first shout out I like to give is for uh, JC360. Uh, JC360 um, is a great, great YouTuber. He uses a 360 camera in his car or his home and uh, he films Funko Pops and they look great. So please check his channel out. Also, uh, Bailey Games um, is a great supporter of my channel, so thank you so much also. And also Red Guy, thank you ever so much again for your support. So in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you all what I found and what I picked up from in Plymouth, where I was only a few days ago. So I've got three pops. Two pops were from Entainer. And the last pop I got from um, a small company called The Funnel Frontier. It was only a small, small shop um, and they had lots of pops in there. And this pop that I found, a grail pop, was right in the middle and I had no price on it. And all the rest of the pops around had all the individual prices of £11.99. And... Uh, Yes, I'll show you that at the end of this video. But let's get into these first two pops I received from the entertainer. So, I walked into the entertainer, it's the first shop I went into in Plymouth, and I seen both these pops on the side, and I grabbed them straight away. They were £6.66p. What a bargain, what a bargain. The first pop was Taz, a Taz Chase. Now for £6.66p, I could not say no to this. So this is my first pop I got from the entertainer. It's Taz the Chase. It's from Spaceman. Uh, Spaceman? Space Jam. Uh, 414 in the pop movies line. On the back here you can get Bur uh, Bugs, Taz, uh, Marvin the Martian, um, Swack Hammer, and also the Blue Monster M3. It's a fantastic looking pop. Pop. I'll get him out of the box and show you. Actually, I'm not quite sure what the difference is from the Chase and the... Ah, yes. So the Chase version, he's got his mouth wide open. And the normal version, he hasn't got his mouth open. So that's the difference between the Chase and the standard version. I'll get him out of the pop in a minute. So. The second pop I got from the entertainer was... The Chase version of Buddy the Elf. Uh, again, £6.66p. I just couldn't believe it when I walked in. I grabbed them both quick as I can. On the back here, you've got Buddy the Elf. You've got uh, Jovi. I think her name is called Jovi. Also, you've got Papa Elf. And also, Narwhal. Is that how you say it? Nar Narwhal. Hmm. And so, like I said, this is the Chase version. And the difference between this version and the Chase, uh, sorry, the difference between this Chase and the standard version is, let's see if I can tell the difference. In his hand, it looks like, I'm not quite sure what he's got in his hand on the standard version. Something red. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. That's it. Got something red in his hand there. And in the Chase version, he's got a toy in his hand. So I get these two out the boxes now and show you what they look like. So let's get the Elf one out first. So this is uh, Buddy the Elf. Just here, he's got a toy in his hand. He's got uh, his iconic green outfit on. He's got uh, slippers. <laughs> His shoes, shall we say, was pointed upwards, and it looks like a pretty cool pot. For £6.66, you can't go bad. So I'll put him in my collection. So the second pot I received was a Taz. Let's get him out of the box and show you what he looks like. Alright, 
so here he is. Here's Taz with the basketball in his hands. Got Space Jam um, on the front here, and uh, on the back here he's got like a ripped T-shirt. Yeah, if you haven't seen this movie. I definitely recommend you watching it. It's a fun, fun movie. Actually, I actually only heard about two days ago they are doing a remake of Space Jam. Um, of, uh, so I'm not quite sure who's playing the main guy or who's going to be in um, Space Jam. But yeah, check it out. It's, it's a great, great little flick and pop again. So like I said, I went into Final Frontier in Plymouth with the wife for a few days break. I went into the, uh, the shop and I seen this in the middle of the shelf and it was for £11.99. I just had to grab it. Yeah, the box isn't in that great condition, but I just couldn't resist buying it. The pop, uh, which I bought from them, was Jay. That was Jay and Bob Strikes Back for £11.99. I know this pop is devoted. I'm not quite, I, I don't know how long this pop has been voted for. But I know it's quite rare, and for £11.99p, I couldn't resist it. Like I said, the box isn't in great condition. There is a couple of marks on the side here. There's a small, like, mark just there. Um, on the back also, the top of the box here is a little bit damaged. But for £11, like, like I keep saying, what a bargain. What a bargain. So let's get him out of the box and show you what he looks like. So here he is folks, here's Jay, he's got a long hair at the back here, he's got the yellow outfit on, uh, also he's got a sign in the middle here as well, I'm not quite sure what that sign is, um, it's more likely to be from the movie, actually I can't read it. Berserker, I think it says Berserker on, in the centre of his t-shirt, isn't that a good pop folks, for £11, I can't believe it! Yeah, so let's look at him a bit up closer, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so here he is on the spinning plate. Um, he looks like a very good pop and very well made as well. Uh, I haven't seen this film, so I'm not quite sure if it's any good. So if you have seen this film, let me know in the comment below. If it's good, I'll watch it. Um, it's got a nice black hat on him. Uh, the pop itself is in great condition. Like I said, for £11, I just could not resist getting this pop. It's great in my collection. Stashpedia price on this pop is £48 at the moment. So I picked it up for 11 yeah, It's fantastic. When I do hit 250 subscribers, folks, I am giving you all a free uh, Funko Pop. No, actually, I'm not going to give you all a free Funko Pop. I'm giving the winner of the 250 a, f a free Funko Pop, which I have got here. I'm not going to show you yet. Um, but when you when I do hit that mark, I will be showing you all and also giving you a chance to win that Funko Pop. Okay, so that's it for me today. If you want to check out my Stashpedia, uh, please just type in Funko UK Guy. If you want to send me an email about anything, please just type in Funko UK Guy at gmail.com. If you want to hit that subscribe button as well, that would be awesome. Um, thank you so so much again for everybody who watched my video. If you do subscribe and you leave a comment below, I will give you a shout out on my next video. So folks, thank you ever so much again. Have a great great night. Bye bye.